carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are back with Rost, who is okay. Um, I mean, he's not okay. He's worried about what's going to happen if we pass the uh, pass the trial. Um, we're back with him. We have now been able to make. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. We have we have now been able to make fire arrows, and we have ourselves a trip caster, which we can use to. Um, yeah, well, trip enemies and shot them. We managed to do it last time. Uh, we're now back with Rost, and we are now outside of the... Uh, outside of the whatever you call this thing. I don't even actually know. Um, not not even a town, is it? That's a bronze camp. Mother's Watch, Ruins... Oh, there's the merch, and that's where we got the trip caster from. But yeah, we're outside of the village, I guess. We'll call, we'll call it a village for now, but I'm sure there'll be another name for it. And um, yeah, we are now trying to investigate some other stuff. So this is a new type of machine, which we've now discovered. We can search the sortie for what? Metal charge, chill water, and blaze. Okay, so we can pick up some things from it. I'm going to pick up some pieces of wood along the way as well. Make sure we get plenty of... Uh, Ridge wood to maybe craft some more arrows if we need them. We only have five. Can we actually craft anything right now? Carry capacity. What's this? Oh, we can increase like our pouch and stuff. Oh, we've got plenty of stuff to do this. So we can increase all our stuff. Um, ammo as well. Is this how you craft arrows? Ammo packs. Okay. Pack contains two sets of arrows. Pack containing ten arrows. Yeah, we can get plenty of arrows with that. We know that at least. In our inventory, we've got some modifications. Damage coil and fire coil. Okay. I don't have enough of those, I don't think. Loads of resources. Animal talisman skull. I don't know what they are. Turkey bones, boar bones. This is all the other bits and pieces were picked up. Uh, with some special items. Trader tokens. Okay. There's all our ammo. So fire arrows, hunter arrows. We can get those. We have one more skill point, but I think we'll try and save that for when we might need it. Um, we haven't seen any more data points yet. I wonder if we get more of those a bit later on in the game. But let's keep going. To it. A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. Right. What's this? Oh, another sorty for us to search. Luminous braiding. Okay, don't know what that is. Follow the path of destruction. That's what we're going to do at the moment. Can't see anything else out there at the moment. There is a turkey over there, but I'm not worried about that right now. Let's keep going. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Oh, there's a watcher. Is that a fox? Oh, it's a fox. Nice. Uh, we've got some striders over there, but we'll we'll leave those be for now. Who's this? I can't actually see. But they're dead, unfortunately. Well, tragically. It's not unfortunate, it's sad.
Oh, hello. There's a watcher just there. Wait for it to turn and go the other way, and then we'll get into this grass here. So all these cabins have been burned down. Are we in tall grass at the moment? I don't think we are. Now we are. I need to look at the eye on the top, that tells me, doesn't it? Don't know if we need to go in there for anything. Not entirely sure. We could take it down, but I don't think we really need to do that right now, so I think we'll we'll leave it be. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Boar. I'm going to leave you alone as well. I'm going to get some more stuff from the Watcher. And a Grazer. Definitely not scrap. Never seen a Grazer yet. Oh, wait a minute. The yellow. Can something see us? Okay, we're green again now. Why are we yellow? What does the yellow mean? Is that like, oh, does that mean we're in like a dangerous territory or something? Our meds are full. Right, I think the yellow means that we're in hostile territory. Hold on, cutscene. That what was that a sawtooth? Or is that a scrap? What is that? It's huge. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. Oh great, we're going under this blind then, are we? Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Well, but we've got our focus. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, I've got a supply here. crate here. Nice. Right, use the trip caster to place the shock wire. Oh, it didn't let me finish reading that. Can we... Is it in our thing? No, it just says kill the sawtooth. So let's just check its path. Okay, so it's going to do a circle. So. If we... can find a place... to, uh... Okay, at the moment it's there. What was that noise? Um, see, it's quite open here, isn't it? Right, there we go. That's good. Do we want more than one of these things? Shit. That'd be fascinating if they 
weren't looking for me. Can we kill it? Right, now we're gonna do a runner. Wow. Oh shit, that's fast. Fucking hell. Right, let's go over this way. What did that mean? It was like flashing. Oh my god! That took a lot of damage. Can't jump up there. Right, I think I went I went about this the wrong way. I think Shit. Right, I'm out of bit sight for now. So we can shoot the blaze canister for a weakness. But I think we probably want to use that trip caster again. Because that did not do a lot of damage at all. Do another trip caster. No, wires too short. Wait, what? Oh. Did that work? There we go. Right. That's our last trip car, so I will make some more if we need to. But now we've done that, we're going to go to fire arrows. And we're going to try and shoot that. Oh, it's on fire. That still isn't really doing a lot of damage, you know. Right, and we, we almost died there as well. Oh my god, this is actually like, what do we even do? You've got to like dodge it, I think. But get, we're almost there. It's down to under half health. But it's really fast. That was a bad arrow. God, it's destroying the rocks. I just realised that as well. This is not going well. Right, here we go. Oh, I'm out of arrows. This is not going well. Shit. Still see me, shit. 
And we're almost dead. We've almost used all of our, our, our health. Oh, we're very nearly dead. We are dead. All right. Um, all right. Let's just put one there. And there. There we go. Right. So now that's sleeping. We're going to hit it with some fire arrows because it's stunned. I'm going to hit that. And then if we find some tall grass, there. So now that's going to be looking for us. The fire goes out. Wait, did that go up in health? Did that just happen? So now it's looking for us. We'll hit that. Yes. Right, now it's in me. And now we start this whole thing again. It's really fast. There must be another way to let like, stun it. something else to this because there's no time to place any more trip casters it's too fast to actually let me get away there we go right it's actually almost right let's get our last trip caster there we go now it's stunned okay that did something didn't see me, did it? No, it didn't. Okay, right. I'm going to craft some more um, stuff. Ammo. Right. So there's some more ammo. And there's some more arrows. Right. We've actually got loads of resources for that. So it's quite actually quite easy to craft. We've got enough stuff. And it's almost dead. It's down to about 25%. We can't do like a silent takedown, is it? Right, so that's now on its path again. So we can set up another trip. Here. No, trip, not fire arrows, trip caster. There we go. 
There's more fire arrows. You're going down. Now it's going to see me again. Oh, it's done. There we go. Just needed a few more arrows. There we go. Done. Killed ourselves a sword tooth. It was difficult, but we did it. We'll take all the stuff from it, and then we there we go. That was hard. That was difficult. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. Follow. Oh, the sunset then was cool. Sunrise These rather. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. The if you hadn't them. destroyed the sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years you've trained to win the proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. All right. So that's done. The point of the spear completed main quest. Um, got some experience. We're not quite at level four yet. Oh, we did get a, a skill point though. It seems, did we? Oh, we got three skill points. Oh, we're at level four. Okay. Oh, I hadn't updated yet. There we go. Level four. Right, so we've got some more skill points we can get. What do we have? So we picked up the Prowler. On top of that, we have a strike from above. We can silently drop and take down small machines or humans or deal high damage to medium enemies. We've got a slow motion while jumping. We've got a silent drop. Uh, I think the Brave could be good while aiming toggle of R3 to slow down time. We're going to learn that. That also gives us Heavy Lifter. We haven't seen any heavy weapons yet, so I won't really be needing that. Uh, that could be good, because we did down the um, the Sawtooth, and we can use a high damage attack, so we'll also get that. Uh, we do have one more skill point. Precision can knock off armor. We've got Forager. Healer speeds up healing. Uh, forager, Gatherer. We've got additional natural resources when foraging. That could be good. And I don't think we need travel. Let's, let's get Forager. We'll get some natural resources while traveling. That could be good. Um, all right. So that's all our points used. So what do we do now? Then uh, we talk to Rost. So this is a time, I guess, to maybe do some other bits around the map. Uh, whereabouts is Rost at the moment? Rost is uh, up in the north. So we can use this time to maybe, um, maybe do these two things. Talk to Grata. 
and do Brom's camp. Uh, we're also going past the Strider site, so we can maybe use that to get some more resources. But it looks like we are just going to head to um, to Ross because it doesn't look like there's much else for us to do apart from those two little quests. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll, I think we'll just head to Rost and on the way as well we will be able to get some more of this stuff which is the uh, the medicine because our we did use a bit of our health in um, in that one. Hello Turkey. Yeah we had a bit of health there um, and we can also save but I would imagine it's auto saved for us so I won't be worrying too much about saving. So I think we'll just head to Rost and we'll pick up some bits on the way. We'll get our medicine pouch full. There we go. That's full up now. Uh, but we've got plenty of wood. So we don't need to worry too much about um, getting those bits at the moment. We've got loads of stuff to craft arrows. And we've got some rocks we can use as well. There is a water up ahead. So we will be careful of him or it. But we know how to deal with these things now. Silently as well. Hello, bunny rabbit. And turkey. But we're just going to head to... We're just, we're just going to head to Rost. There's a couple of little quests for us to do, but this is at times maybe... Maybe a bit of like open stuff just to learn how to play the game. Just going to cover in here for a second. I'm actually going to kill the Watcher. We've got the whistle thing we can use to attract the attention. I'm going to go for a silent strike. There we go. There we go. We've got some handling coil from that as well. There we go. Need them soon enough. Alright, we're about 200 odd metres away. Yeah, we'll just go to Rost. Um, but yeah, I mean, early on here, the game looks fantastic. The Aloy Rost dynamic, I do really like. And yeah, Aloy's character is cool. I like the the hair physics as well. The hair in itself is just glorious. So yeah, early on, very impressed. Like I said, the sequel is now out, and people have said, you know, it's. Just as, just as good a story, just as good a game. People have said the gameplay in this does get a bit repetitive. Um, like the actual, yeah, the actual gameplay. But the story and the, the way the game looks is just phenomenal. And people have said that about Forbidden West, the sequel as well. It's just the game looks amazing. The gameplay can be a bit repetitive at times, but it looks amazing and the story is great. And, you know, sometimes gameplay is not all, not everything. I will say the watches and stuff does kind it, it kind of reminds me of Death Stranding and the BTs because you know you want to avoid them if you can but if need be you can take them on so um, yeah th there are sort of some similarities there and I think the studio that did make this game made the I think it's the PC version of Death Stranding so yeah there is some, it's it, it's Sony Interactive I think they're called or so, yeah something like that. Gorilla Games, the other games they made with the um, uh, the Killzone games, I believe. Here's Rost. We must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're going to let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. 
the center of Nora life, the jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. All right, let's do this. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Once we pass, he won't be able to talk to us. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Um... Oh, again, so we can choose to be mad or loving or sort of neutral. Uh, with the kid with the rock, I think we went for the brain one because we knocked it out of his hands. I'm going to say, I will find you. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. And you. What's the bit in like we pass, we gotta find him when he's like fighting for his life. I have to let him go. Well, hopefully that's not the last we see of Ross. Ross is cool. First the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Um We'll have a quick look in here, but I think we will probably end the video off soon. Let's go in. We might get ourselves another cutscene here as we enter, but we'll wait and see. Let's have a look. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. Well, she was there oh, when we... Oh, yes. Hey, but oil, oil, for her the birth moment, name. I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja, but that's Who's this problem. Derby? Is we it like Manchester later. Derby? In the meantime, <laughs> Merseyside the Derby. Festival. Nora versus down the Karja. The path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. Is that going to be the kid that throws the rock at us? All right, mother's heart. There's all sorts of stuff going on here. Talk to our old friend. I wonder who that's going to be. I want to have a bit of a look around first, though. This is cool. I like this. In my mother's day, the proving was a most solid case. Okay, you could just talk to random NPCs then. <laughs> what is this like warehouse parties for the for the tribes? Alright. 
Um, okay, there's not a campfire we can actually save that. Let's go and find this old friend. There's a campfire just up here, actually. We can save there. But we'll go and find this old friend. Well, who are you? Who's this? I couldn't live among machines like you did. Not forever. Okay. People are actually talking to us. This is good. I like this. Most people here are actually like quite welcome. Welcome. What's this? Interact. Oh, keep our hands warm in the fire. The proving's open to everyone. Enjoy. Aloy, it's you, isn't it? Who are you? Over here. It is. Oh, Teb. I'm Oh, I'm Teb. Are you the? Old friend Tirsa told me about? That's the kid we saved from the watchers when I we were like you six. Don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again if you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Outfits. Nora Brave. New Nora Braves armor, stitched by Teb, accentuated by Aloy's own designs, offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. Okay, so that one's free. The other ones do cost a little bit. Metal and Blaze. We can actually buy these ones. We actually have enough to get them. Silent Hunter Light, Survivor Light, Protector Light. It's okay, so we can actually pick one then. We've also got some treasure boxes here. There's a free sample box which we can buy. Um, and then we've got traveler ones which we can buy. Do we have those tokens? I'm not quite sure. We do. We have those. So we can get these traveler boxes as well. And there's also buybacks. Um, so we'll get these treasure boxes as well. Why not? We'll see what these are. And then we can buy an outfit. Let's just buy the Nora Brave one, just the default one. And we'll equip it. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank Did you we just get that. changed, like, right in front of I've you? I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa well, that said sounds something advising. about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Thank you, Tab. I'm just resting my legs a bit. I'm not drunk. It's the middle of the day, mate. And then I sat there and I said, You're too pretty to be so simple. Alright. So that's another trading point there. So there was another trader earlier on. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, some more stuff we can interact with. We can have a seat. Ah, oh, we can watch some dancing. Watch some singing. She's got a voice on her. Keep doing your thing. More stuff. Oh, another fire we can warm our hands on. Jog! Get down from there! 
Bad enough, you're drunk. Oh, <laughs> you're right on the towel. <laughs> Can I shoot oh, you down? Not I'm not going to get my arrows out. That might make people mad. Huh? He needs to get down from there. Listen carefully down now. From there now. But you'll have to oh, that's this just what gone. you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. All life came from all mother. What? People, machines. Was this the creation story for tribes? All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. Mm. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. <laughs> All right, so a story about how the machines came to be. Supply crate with some more metal. All right, let's go and find the matriarch then. Cast. Hello, who's this? Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed oh, to trade without casting the wilds. So he gave us the trip caster. How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. You saw it to be lonely joking, once in a while. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Can we get anything from you? Oh, other stuff: slings and rope casters, war bow. So yeah, we can buy some other weapons here then. We'll have a look at what we can have a look at what we can maybe get here. Um, I'll get the free sample box. See you later, Karst. Good luck. Okay. Right, where do we see these sample boxes? Are they were in our inventory? Ah, here they are. Ah, we can view our contents. Here we go. Fast travel pack. Oh, resources satchel is full. Okay, so we've we've got some full stuff then. I think that's what we get from that. Traps and potions. Got some health, resist freeze, and detonating blast potions. Okay. And then the notebook. Oh, we can see. So we've got the strider. And there's the sawtooth that we saw. Okay, you do get silhouettes of them. So there are scrappers, which we haven't seen yet. I'll have to look out for a scrapper pretty soon, because we don't know anything about scrappers just yet. But let's find the matriarch. Here we go. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first. We have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Akarja's are massive everywhere <coughs> we go. <laughs> An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah! Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, Nora... Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. 
My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Oh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad. Oh, what she spotted. Is that someone else that has focus? Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving. Unknown device to know the Karja stand with you. Did you see those cards? He's wearing a focus as well. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. Well, we didn't go, well, we, we, we didn't go delving. We fell, though. Accidentally. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His they name didn't. is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard Steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. All right, easy, you two. Um, what else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Yeah. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Did his exactly the skills you I, I don't know how they shave at the moment, but did his shaver get broken halfway through? We got to this point. He's a loyal companion. It's like I've got what he's missing. Family, like together we'd make a full like beard. <laughs> besides that, not much to tell. Uh, I questions. wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want, but I'll also be around after that blessing thing. If that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden We're away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? You do kind of know about that. Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. 
terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh... Are you direct? direct? You asked me for a drink. Um... So, what happened? I'm just asking all the questions end? here, aren't we? The mad <laughs> I need to end this song. video. It's going to go United too long, otherwise. Rebels with Asaram free it did take a bit of a while getting Together rid of that, did the um, impossible. sword tooth at the start. So, and we'll the see. Crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne. But it's a good way to actually learn about war and stuff, about what happened about the machines. No more that. sacrifices, so, no more slavery. You know, it's, it's always good. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. He's really keen for me to come over, isn't he? Um. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Tell me about Olin again. Wait, when what? he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Right, I think we'll leave I it for should that. Make my way to the I don't think we need to ask too many more yeah. questions. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. it will be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't let the card get faithless. All right, um... What All that came from talking to that guy with a focus. Now it seems we have a, well, almost a date. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, what else are we doing now? Go to the blessing ceremony. Uh, we do need to end this video off because I've been recording for like 50, over 50 minutes. So I think we will end things here. Um, but I'm not sure if we get a save from that or not. So we might ask some more questions of that guy um, before we, before next episode. So. Uh, Oh, there is some sort of ceremony going on there. Um, but we'll do that next time. We're going to leave it there for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on. Um, I'm going to have a bit more of a look around Mother's Heart, see if there's anything else we can maybe find. But I think we'll end things off for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.